I'm Molly and I'm going to talk with you about how to set up an embroidery project. So the things that you're going to need to start an embroidery project are obviously the fabric that you're embroidering on and we just have some plain uh, muslin here. Then your embroidery hoop and I believe this is a seven or eight inch hoop. They come in all different sizes. Um, we don't recommend for kids using the really large hoops. This is probably about as big as we would go. Um, then you will need embroidery floss, some bobbins, or you can use pieces of cardboard. Um, then embroidery needles, possibly a threader, um, some kind of marking tool, and scissors. So first we're going to start with our embroidery hoop. Uh, if you have a pattern that you're tracing or if you or your child just want to draw um, a design, you can take your pencil and make whatever design you'd like. Then you open the embroidery hoop by unscrewing the screw here, and I'm just turning this left to loosen it. This one's in pretty tight. All right. So I just wanna loosen it until the inner hoop pops out. This is the smaller hoop. I place it underneath so that my design is centered. And I wanna make sure that I've cut my fabric with enough room on the edges to fit inside the hoop. So you always wanna make your fabric a few inches bigger than your hoop. And then I place the outer hoop on top. It's gonna to just tighten up that fabric. Once I get them even with each other, I can tighten my screw back up. The tighter, the better here, especially with kids, because they tend to pull the fabric um, and you might find yourself replacing the hoop every few minutes if it's not tight enough, okay? So now we have to thread our needle. Um, we're using these longer embroidery needles. Um, we use between a size one and five needle. In order to um, thread it, you will take your embroidery floss, which normally comes like this. So the embroidery floss comes in what's called a skein, um, and you can only use it once it's transferred onto a bobbin. Um, we have these plastic bobbins that we buy, um, but you could also just really easily use a small piece of cardboard or plastic you find at home. Um, really anything will work. The way that you want to um, uh, prepare the skein is I've gotten my finger sort of inside the circle, the loop of floss, and I'm just gonna pull that um, packaging off. And then the way I do this is I just slip it around my wrist. I take my bobbin in my right hand because I'm right-handed, and I find one of the ends of the skein secure it into the notch on the bobbin. If you don't have a um, real embroidery bobbin, you can always just wrap it around and start this way. This is just a little bit easier to start. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping the floss around the bobbin. You wanna be pretty gentle here so that you don't get a big tangle. And eventually you will have wound all of the embroidery floss onto the bobbin. I'm gonna stop here. So your bobbin will then look like this. In order to thread your needle, you're going to wind some of your floss off. For kids, we usually recommend that they make their thread um, twice as long as the length of their arm. Um, for an adult, you could just sort of approximate the distance between the tip of your finger and your elbow for your length. So I've got that doubled, that length. And I'll cut. Now, embroidery floss is made up of um, six individual threads. So you can thread your needle with just the, these six 
pieces of thread um, wound together. So I could just thread my needle like this. Um, sometimes it's just a little too bulky. So, um, and you can also save embroidery floss this way. So what I normally do um, and what we do in the studio is I take, I split the floss into three threads and three threads. And then you just wanna delicately pull the floss apart. And again, if this just seems like too much for you, you can always use the full six threads and not split your floss. This will just make it go a little farther. Okay. All right, and then I would normally take that, um, the one that I'm not gonna use, and just wind it back around my bobbin so that I have it to use next time. Or you could thread two needles. Okay. So the way I thread a needle um, is I take the um, end of the embroidery floss, I pinch it between my thumb and my forefinger, and I place the eye of the needle on top of the thread. And then I push with my fingers so that I'm pushing the thread through. Just like that. So now I have my floss doubled and I can tie a knot in my end. I'm just gonna cut those even. There you go. If you have a um, needle threader, it can make your life a little bit easier. You simply take the needle threader, you put it through the eye of the needle, and then you put the thread through the eye of the threader. And then I would just pull through the eye. And then tie my knot. And that's how you set up an embroidery project. Thanks for watching.